Hello and welcome to the StarCraft stream. We are going to show some normal games. We're going to show you how the game works, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to StarCraft. This is the, if this is the first time you're seeing this, you're going to learn a lot, at least. That's what I'm hoping for. So we're going to jump straight into a game, and I'm going to show you just how StarCraft works. So in like 10 seconds or so, I'm uh, going into the game. I'm going to be playing Terran. Uh, Terran is one of the three races in StarCraft, and I'm going to be facing Zerg. Uh, Zerg is a more fast-paced race that can expand a lot and uh, builds a lot of units. For Terran, I'm basically humans. My goal is to establish bases and get a lot of mar Marines and early game units to defend the Zerg. So, for this game, whenever we get into it, I am going to show you the early mechanics of the game how to play it. Not, I'm not going to go into the advanced concepts of the game. This is basically just how to play it. Uh, so let's just hop straight into the game. Alright, so I'm playing a Terran and as you can see on the bottom I am using something called hotkeys. These are so I can mark different units. This is, an, oh, this is a worker, an SCV. That is what the Terran worker is called. These are supposed to harvest minerals from these blue patches. They can also harvest gas, but then I need to build something called a refinery, which is building right now. When I've built the refinery, I can start collecting gas. Gas is needed for some, some late game units, and uh, there's no rule about which units cost gas or not. They're, it's just randomly picked, I guess, or I have no idea. I, I honestly don't know. So I'm going to collect some gas here and collect some minerals. It's also very important to know that you actually have an opponent. So I'm going to go and scout. So I'm moving my SCV down towards my opponent. And while I'm doing this, I'm going back to my base and I'm building some workers. It's very important to have a steady economy. And right now, I'm almost reaching a limit called supply. And whenever the supply limit reaches 11 of 11, like right now, I can't build any more units. So I need to build something called a supply depot. I'm going to keep scouting with my SCV. Meanwhile, it's important to control all your units. So right now I'm building the supply depot. Whenever the supply depot is finished, I can start building units up until a new limit. So I keep building my workers, and now I'm scouting my opponent. He's making a lot of drones, and he's making something called a spawning pool. And I also see he's taking an extractor, which means he can start collecting gas. This information is important according to what I'm going to be doing next. It's very necessary to know what your opponent is doing to adapt your own play style. So right now I'm building something called a barracks. From the barracks, I can build units that can attack and defend my own base. Well, I'm not going to attack my own base. That's completely wrong. I'm going to attack his base. So I see that the spawning pool is finished. The spawning pool means that the opponent can start building aggressive units. And it's very important that I can defend those aggressive units whenever he starts attacking me. That's why I need the barracks to finish up. So, as you guys can see, I have a lot of minerals and I have a lot of gas. So I would like to use this as efficiently as possible. Getting gas as early as I did is not very efficient, but this is just for show anyways. So whenever this barracks is done, I can start building new buildings so after the barracks is done, I am going to build something called a factory. A factory is in the advanced structure chart, and it's unlocked after the barracks is done. So on the factory, from the factory, I can build a lot of different units, like hellions and fire bats. I'm not sure if I can show them yet. Probably can't. So I'm going to build a new supply depot here to increase the supply limit so I can make more units. And I'm also, at the same time, keeping my economy at a very, very... Uh, I forgot the word. Ah, I'm just keeping it steady. So I'm going to build a second supply depot right after my, after, right after this one is finished. Just to make sure I won't get supply blocked. When I get supply blocked, I can't make any more units, and that's bad. So now the factory is done, and I can start making Hellions. 
Hellions are very, very fast-paced units, and I need them to scout and to clear stuff early. Just basically be aggressive. This is my first infantry unit, and I can start attacking with him. So I'm going to send him over to my opponent's base and see what's up. Right now, I think it's a good idea for me to expand, because it's not very efficient for me to have more workers. You should normally have two workers on each mineral field. That is the, uh, that's the uh, recommended amount, at least. So this marine is just walking towards my opponent's base. We're going to see what we uh, spot. And according to that, we are going to decide what to do next. Meanwhile, I am using the hotkeys to target the command center and make more SCVs while I'm attacking. So I can see my opponent is not expanded yet, which means he might be playing aggressively. And here we see some scary, scary units, and that's not very good. So I'm going to build a tech lab which means I can start building marauders from the barracks. And marauders are really good against what I spotted, which is a roach. I can go back up and show you the roach. So in this game, we have a fog of war, which means I can't see my opponent. This is what I saw last time I was in my opponent's base. So by going back up here, I see basically nothing. A couple of roaches, and that was it. So right now, I'm almost done with my second command center, which means I can start mining from that base. My opponent is trying to scout, so it's very important that I need to deny that. I'm still going to make some units from the two, un the two buildings that I have that can produce aggressive units. And with these Hellions, I'm planning on harassing my opponent, killing off his workers so he can't mine as efficiently. So right now, I'm sending my Hellions to my opponent's base. In this map, it's, it's a pretty old map, so not a lot of people play it anymore. It's not used in tournaments. So in this map, there's something called Solnaga Towers. Not every map has Solnaga Towers, but it gives you a lot of vision around an area. I don't really need it right now, because I know my opponent is not aggressive. I'm still going to make some SCVs here, and I'm still making sure to make the supply depots as often as I can, not to get supply blocked. It's very important that I keep making units. So you see my opponent has a lot of roaches, and my Hellions didn't really do much. I'm still trying to harass with the units I have, but I know I'm not going to do a lot of damage. I managed to kill three or four workers, which is... Uh, it's okay. It's not that bad. Right now, it's, it's important that I'm going to make more units. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make three barracks to make sure I have the structures necessary to keep building units for the rest of the game. Still making some SCVs, and right now I'm going to expand to another gas. Right now my gas count is pretty high, so it's not necessary. But I would like to have a second gas, anyways. So I'm going to keep making Hellions from this one. I could eventually add a tech lab so I can unlock some structures like the siege tank, and later on the Thor if I build an armory. But I don't think I'm going to need that, so I'd rather not. Actually, no, I'm going to build an armory right now. Armory is unlocked whenever you build the factory, which I built quite early on in the game. So, it's very important to tech up so you get the appropriate units according to what your opponent has. You would also like to get as strong units as you can. I'm also going to make a couple more supply depots just to make sure. So right now, I have a pretty feasible army, and I'm going to start attacking. Uh, in this game, I'm not going to be focusing on upgrades as much. I'm going to try to get as many workers and as many units as I can early on. It's very important that I keep control over this Elnaga Tower so I know my opponent is not attacking me. Because right now I have no idea what's going on. Also, I'm going to transform both of my command centers into... What are they called? Orbital command centers, which means I can use something called a scan to see what my opponent is doing. So here's a Zergling. So my, my opponent knows what I have, which is normally not a good thing. But I also know what he's doing. So, with these roaches, they're very, very strong against some of my units. Like the Hellions, they're not very good against the roaches. So if I just have the Hellions trying to kill the roaches, they won't really do much. That's why I made the Marauders. Marauders do extra damage against armored targets. And if we click on the roach, we can see that it's armored and biological. These uh, stats are very important according to what units are better against uh, stuff, basically. So I'm going to build a tech lab on my factory to make Thors, 
Now, Thor's is about as strong as a v uh, it's about the strongest unit that Terran has. And right now, I am checking to see if my opponent is expanding. Uh, since I already killed his roaches, he might not have a big enough army to stop me. That's why I'm going to try to kill off his base. And now I'm going to scan his main, just so I know that he doesn't have any funky stuff coming up. Here I see a spire. When, uh, per when a building has not yet completed, you can always click on it and look at the name if you're unsure what it is. So right now, I'm going to make a couple of Thors, and I'm going to make a huge push into his main just to end the game. And since I know my opponent has Mutas coming up, because Mutas is the unit you would like to produce whenever you build a Spire, I'm going to make a couple of Marines to accompany my Thor. So right now I'm trying to micro as best as I can, but it's not looking too good for my Marauder. Seems like I'm just going to die here. That sucks. So I, I'm queuing up Marines. Whenever I click A, I make another Marine. And if I select all of my barracks, I can just continue to click A to fill up a queue. So these Marines will continue to produce whether or not I look at the barracks. I'm also going to start an upgrade. This one will probably not finish. In a, in, well, I'll probably just end the game before the upgrade finishes, so it really doesn't matter. This SCV can repair. Since I am a Terran player, the workers have this special ability called repair. And they can repair everything that's mechanical. Uh, they can repair buildings and hellions and Thors. As long as they are, they are mechanical, the SCVs can repair it. So if I damage this one, I can send these SCVs to repair by clicking R and then targeting the Thor. Now the Thor will get really healthy. Oh. There is an Overseer in my base. So he knows everything. He knows uh, what I have and what I don't have. Right now, I am going to push. And I'm going to try to finish the game as fast as possible. Because I have a very, very strong army and I notice my opponent has basically nothing. I'm going to do another scan at his natural to see that he is he's almost done expanding. And with this push, I'm going to bring my SCVs. Even though they're they're... For mining minerals, it's also very nice to bring them to the fight sometimes, especially if you're Terran. So, this is what a fight looks like. <laughs> Nothing special. I'm just gonna walk straight into his base and win the game as soon as possible. I hope you learned something. This is uh, about as basic as it gets in StarCraft. There, if you want to be a professional player, there's a lot more to it and a lot of advanced things that you need to learn. But for starters, it's nice to play against computers, just to learn. So my opponent doesn't have enough units to uh, stop me, and he's eventually going to say GG, meaning that he surrenders. Whenever you say GG, you just concede. Because you don't have a... Or the win condition in StarCraft is destroying every building of your opponent. Most of the time, people are nice, and they will just leave whenever they realize they've lost. It's uh, very tedious to kill off all the buildings. And the game is almost over. Well, that's, uh, that's about it. Let's cut it short there. So, uh, that's StarCraft. If you don't know what, Star what StarCraft is, I'm hoping you learned something. Uh, it's a very interesting game and we have a lot of good players in it and uh, hopefully it's here to stay.